Hey, this is Gerion and Stefan from Vulture and we're here to talk about the records that influenced us the most. So our first pick is going to be Sin After Sin by Judas Priest, released in the late 70s. Uh, this is a super heavy album and which we love about this is uh, that they combine super heavy riffing with uh, catchy choruses, which we try to do in our songwriting as well. Try. <laughs> <laughs> we try to do. And uh, I think uh, like it's 77 and there's a song like Call For, Call For The Priest on it, super yeah. speed metal. And I uh, think uh, it never got harder than uh, Dissident Aggressor. Yeah. We're moving on to the early 80s with our next pick. It's a Merciful Fate, Melissa, a super dark, heavy, eerie record. Yeah. Uh, what's so important for us for this record for Vulture is uh, the riffing, the half-tone shifts, that wicked uh, licks they're playing. Uh, that's what we try to do a lot as well. Yes, and uh, vocal-wise, it's uh, also a super big influence for us. Uh, yeah, King Diamond uh, has like super theatrical, high-pitched vocals, and this is uh, what we obviously uh, do in Vulture as well. So, yeah. Our next pick is a rather obvious one, Dark Angel, Darkness Descends, one of two amazing records by Dark Angel, this one and We Have Arrived, although I prefer the sound on We Have Arrived, this one is uh, um, absolutely amazing, uh, super fast, super thrashy, I think I'll never be able to pick as fast as they do. Yeah, I also won't be ever, ever be able to play drums like Gene Hogan. <laughs> he played uh, drums in this album. He's super fast, super technical on the bass. Yeah, and the one who taught uh, Dave Lombardo how to play double bass, right? Yeah, he was clearly ahead of his time. The next album uh, we're gonna pick is uh, The Awakening by Powerlord. It's a lesser known speed metal album uh, with very underrated vocals. The singer is super great. Uh, he has some fierce vocal lines, a very, very big uh, vocal range. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's a, it's a great record that shows uh, that you don't have to do that much riff-wise to write amazing music. I think the most of the great riffs on that record consist of like three or four notes. Killer. Yeah, and uh, back when we wrote uh, Ghastly Waves by the Grace, we got so hooked on this album that uh, Stefan and I, we decided to, <laughs> to get some Power Lord tattoos when we were drunk in Hamburg. <laughs> so, yeah. Power Lord. Power Lord. Yeah, we continue that streak with uh, of lesser known records with our last pick for the day. Uh, it's uh, Blessed to Death, Kill or Be Killed, an amazing thrash speed metal, heavy metal record from the US um, with amazing songs like Omen of Fate, uh, Knights of Old Bridge. Some might know that term Old Bridge from the uh, Life on Dead record by Slayer where Tom dedicates Aggressive Perfecta to the Old Bridge militia. <laughs> We are Vulture, our new record is going to be out on the 21st of May, you should go and get it right away. Yeah.